This video is sponsored by Shopify. Clowns. Some people hate them, some people love them. Let's paint one in oil paint. Like right now. Meet me at the desk. I, don't meet me at the, meet me at the easel right over there. We're gonna paint. Well, first things first, happy Halloween. I was hoping to get this video done, you know, a lot earlier, but you know, it is what it is. As a matter of fact, it is Halloween and uh, I'm still editing the video afternoon and uh, hopefully I'll get this out before the end of the day. But anyways, before I get into uh, my love for clowns, I wanna talk about my inspiration for this painting. If you're like me and you like vintagey stuff and you've seen those like old portraits of clowns, this was very much the inspiration. Now the direct inspiration for like the faces are definitely these three pictures. Initially, I really wanted to make like a ruffle collar and I just could not figure it out for some reason. That's why you see me go back and forth. Also side note, this is my bestie, Melena. She's also an artist, Melena Bazzini on Instagram. I low key made her do a clown with me because I wanted to do something for spooky season. Also spoiler alert, this was last year when I started this painting, but I just finished it. We'll get more into that later. Like I was saying, I initially wanted to do a ruffle, but I ended up doing like this suit, this, uh, this like, I don't know what, what the hell, pin, pinstripe suit. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't the right choice. I don't know. Is it still giving clown? Hopefully at this stage, still didn't know what I was doing with the face. It was giving scarecrow, which is, you know, it's not a bad thing, but I was not painting a scarecrow. If you guys seen any of my videos, I don't like to paint directly from a reference or paint the exact reference. Y'all know me. I like to add my little flair to things because I don't want to do an exact copy. I think it's kind of worthless, at least for my art. Oh, that might hold on. I meant like worthless as in like it would be less enjoyable and like less pleasurable for me to paint. Does that make sense? Like it's worthless to me if I do an exact copy of somebody else's stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time I think we talk about my love for clowns. Now I feel like my generation, the millennial slash Gen Z, we fall out of love with clowns. Obviously there's a resurgence with the younger Gen Z and you know, whatever the other generation is. But I feel like from the mid 2000s to like the mid 2010s, clowns weren't really a good thing. People hated clowns. Me personally, I love clowns. Every time we had to go school shopping, uh, we would go to the Goodwill and oh, I would find those little fat like clown dolls. Oh, they were so weird looking, I loved them. I also had a couple clown portraits, but I don't know what happened to them. I think we ended up giving them back to Goodwill because no one liked clowns, at least in my household. And as a matter of fact, I believe to this day, the first horror movie I ever watched was It. Like even from my earliest memories, I remember seeing the cover art for It. But to make a very, very long story short, I love clowns. I've always loved clowns. Give me spooky, give me scary, give me pretty, give me funny. I love all shapes and sizes of clowns. Ooh, I'm sounding a little obsessed. Listen, I'm not like a, a diehard fan for clowns, I promise. I just, I just like them. I don't mind them. And I'm just curious on the resurgence of clowns, especially with Art the Clown from Terrifier. Like, it's so crazy to think that some of the people that are dressing up as Art the Clown used to have phobias of them. It just doesn't make any sense. Sorry for the interruption. This video is sponsored by Shopify. And if you're not familiar, Shopify is a commerce platform that allows you to start, grow, and manage your business. Whether you're a big brand, small brand, or anything in between, they'll make it easy to suit your business's needs. Shopify also allows you to sell across all major social media platforms. They have integrations for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If it's big, they got you covered. Millions of people in over 170 countries use Shopify to sell online, in person, and across borders. When starting my Shopify store, I was a little overwhelmed because I've never started my own shop before, but Shopify made it so simple, so easy just to click and get started. And with all the templates Shopify has to offer, building your own store to customize what you make is a no-brainer. And if you go to shopify.com slash blackbeancms, you will get a free trial to really cook and start your new business. And once again, thank you so much Shopify for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get clowning around. Meet me at the easel again. 
So after I got done with the first pass, I let that dry for a little bit because I knew I wanted to do a second pass because it was a little dark and not as uh, vibrant as I wanted it. So I did some oiling out, which is pretty much just kind of putting lotion on the paint so it's not ashy anymore. Some people call it oiling in, which makes kind of more sense, but you know, whatever. It makes it shiny again. So I wanted to do a second pass and kind of brighten it up a bit. If I'm being completely honest, this is this was the downfall of this painting before adding this second layer i thought it was too sepia tone too yellowed and i was really missing that saturation and that that you know burst of flavor that's in some of those clown pictures that i just showed you so i tried my best to give it that same look and ended up just messing this whole painting up i'll let y'all watch for a little bit Are you seeing what I'm seeing? In my opinion, that second layer just made this look so much less polished. It's like I overworked it and painted over some of the paint strokes that made this really look vintagey. And you know, I think I just overdid it. So naturally, I stare at it for a whole year. Now we fast forward to a few weeks ago where I wanted to stare at this for the last time. I wanted to get this finished for the spooky season and made the big jump to just completely repaint the face. So naturally, I take a selfie so I can get some good lighting and kind of a good expression to use as a reference because it's kind of hard to do that in your own head sometimes. The ugly face, y'all. I was regretting this choice. At this point, I could have got, just gone back. Just take some Gamzol and just wipe it off. But I didn't do that. I persevered. I got to it. I got to it with my gown. Ooh, I, that was annoying. My bad. I was really liking the direction of this painting now. The only thing that really made me sad was the expression and the character of the previous guy is not the same. This guy is not the same as this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt kind of sad. Like, that man is gone. He's gone. He's gone forever. One thing that also kind of pissed me off was the direction of his shoulders. So I switched that up a bit, added some more neck, and we are done. Happy Halloween.